Hi everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to the Global AI Student Conference. I'm Fotinis Avidu. And I'm Loxley Kolakowski. And today we will be your host for the fourth edition of the Global AI Student Conference. Before welcoming our first speaker, let us introduce ourselves. So I'm based in Greece and I currently study electrical computer engineering at the Aristotle University of Thessaloniki. I love connecting with students and sharing my experience in AI and Azure technologies. I'm a member of the Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador, the student community of Microsoft, and I'm also a Microsoft MVP in the AI category. This year, I actually participated for my third time in the Global AI Student Conference. The last two years, I was a speaker, and this year, I am pleased to co-host this outstanding conference with my amazing colleague, Loxi. Loxi, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, thanks so much, Fatini. So, hello, my name is Loxley Kolakowski. This is my fourth time participating in the Global AI Student Conference and my third time as a co-host. It's actually the very first time that I've helped co-host this in person, and I'm super excited to be doing this here today with Fatini. And so a little bit more about me. I have some prior experience working as an intern at Microsoft. I was a past Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador and at Accenture and Major League Hacking. I've also had the opportunity to work as a data scientist intern at a startup and love working at the intersection of students and AI. Now, a little bit about the Global AI Student Conference. So the Global AI Student Conference is an online event organized by the Global AI community with Microsoft Learn Student Ambassadors. It is designed specifically for students and for everyone to give an introduction to the world of AI and to learn from students and educators from around the world and learn about the projects they are doing in AI. So today we'll hear from Microsoft Learn School and Ambassador, MVPs and leaders for both the academic and the technology AI space. We'll be covering topics from local development using Power BI, machine learning from Green Tech and using Azure services in machine learning, Azure Cooking services and AI projects. And we also have some really exciting opportunities for you listening in today. You can participate in our Cloud Skills Challenge. The link is on the screen, but you can also find it at aka.ms forward slash learn dash challenge. You can also earn a learning badger at aka.ms slash gai dash badger. Finally, please make sure that you adhere to our code of conduct. And with that, we're ready to introduce our very first speaker. Kanchak, are you online today? Hello. Hi. It's so yeah, nice. Yeah, I'm online. Hello. Yes, good morning. It's at least morning for us. And we're super excited for your yeah, time today good. because you'll be doing an introduction to Azure. Yeah, I'm also, <laughs> yeah, I'm super excited to be here too. Um, I'm really hoping you can all see me. Um, I'm really excited. So hello, everyone. Hello, world. Um, can I begin? Yes, yeah, feel free to take it away. All right, so I believe my slides are visible. <clears throat> All right, guys. All right, so introduction to Azure Cognitive Services in the Power Platform. Hello, everyone. Yeah, they've introduced me already. I will do the further, I will take it from here. My name is Pasha Jeremiah Kopruda. I am a Beta Microsoft Lens Student Ambassador. Um, I'm actually a power platform developer. I have a, a whole bunch of passion for it. I also got, I have a certification, a fundamental certification uh, for the power, power platform. Um, what other things do I do apart from power platform? Yeah, I am a video gamer. I am a dog lover. Yeah, I know a lot of people can relate. I am passionate. I am a passionate public speaker. I love public speaking. And most importantly, I am a diehard Manchester United fan. Um, okay, these are my socials. You can connect me on Twitter and LinkedIn. Uh, today we'll be talking about the, um, uh, I'm giving you an introduction into the community services on the Power Platform. Um, first we're going to have an overview. This is the rundown. I'm really excited to see how I can actually take us through all this. Um, our objectives, yes. Uh, our objective is actually at the end of this session to be this man. Tony Stark, the Iron Man. Yes, we are trying to see, are we talking about automations, AI? And at the end of the session, we are looking at building Jarvis itself. So um, what is cloud computing, Azure in brackets? Well, these are, this is the first thing 
thing that comes to mind, I am sure cloud computing is it has nothing to do with this. Cloud computing is simply the uh, medium by which we sell, we share um, computing resources over the internet. In an introduction to Azure, Azure is a cloud computing platform. It also confers with Microsoft's goal to empower each and every one and every organization to do more. This actually works on a pay-as-you-go basis. And one of the unique things about Microsoft Azure is its presence globally, um, uh, which actually helps you access your data faster, helps you scale your business and solutions. Um, Azure AI. <clears throat> um, as we know, our world is, tinged, is tilting on the hinges of new technology. One of those is artificial intelligence and cloud computing. Well, Azure AI gives you the power to actually build on those two powerful technologies, combining the power of AI and Azure, the cloud. Like this actually helps you expedite your processes and the, uh, actually makes you build much more intelligent solutions faster. Um, the Azure Cognitive Services. The Azure Cognitive Service has a subdivision. This is where um, this is a collection of resources of uh, major leads that actually empowers your applications to see, to hear, to speak, if possible, to search and understand human or cognitive related, um, what should I call it, materials or such or cognitive related data. Um, so these are the main major subcategories of the Azure Cognitive Services. We have speech, we have language, we have vision, we have decision, and we have open AI. We're going to look at computer vision later on in this, in this session. Um, AI in the Power Platform. In Power Apps, you actually have the, the um, AI majorly in the Power Platform has its feet in four of the three of the five legs in the Power Platform. Uh, we have power apps where you have the AI builder. We have um, the form recognizer, which is a form of um, is also an AI powered tool, uh, an AI powered feature in the power apps. We have object detection, sentiment analysis, text, uh, text translation, key phrase extraction, business card reader, and receipt processing. In the virtual agents, we use the conversational AI, which is used to power the chatbot we use for um, our virtual agents. Power BI, we have image tagging, language detection, sentiment analysis, and key phrases. This is also embedded in Power Query to help you do, uh, to enhance your data preparation for the data analysts that we have in the house. Um, we have Power Automates, which actually mirrors what we have in the Power Apps. Then we have Power Pages. Nothing has been, but I'm hoping I'm really, really excited about this because I know a lot of things will have to be done about Power Pages. Now, Azure Cognitive Service in the Power Apps example. Now, this is where we build Javis, guys. So stay tuned. Um, first things you have to do is go to your Azure portal. You simply go there and you actually create a resource, as you can see. <clears throat> then moving forward, it actually takes you to this page where you can actually type your um, computer vision or whatever cognitive service you want to actually work with, object detection or whatever. Well, a resource, there's a resource group for um, cognitive service separate that comes with everything. But if you want to work with it individually, then it's cool. One of the th most important things you need to know about um, the cognitive service is that it's actually, it is actually just a, it's just one API call away. So yeah, they traditionally, you have to go through a lot of processes and write, write a lot of lines of code. But you can actually do this with low code, empower your app suite. Um, the power of artificial intelligence, cognitive artificial intelligence, Azure Cognitive Services, everyone. Um, from there, you actually, it takes you to this page, you click on create, um, to create your resource for the computer vision. Then you create the, you, after that, it takes you to this page, uh, where it asks you, you know, a series of questions, your subscription, your resource group, your region. And of course, as you can see here, I named my, uh, computer vision app, uh, the function, I call it my Javis. I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to move out to uh, review and create. It brings you here, it's going to begin to deploy. And when it's done, it shows you that the validation process is completed. Then you click and go to the resource group, which is where the action and all the, um, for the fun stuff, this is where the fun stuff begins. So we actually go to the resource, of course, and when you land on the resource page, it is important that 
two things are very key. You have to go to where you manage your keys. This is a detail about these are details about the resource group you've created and you have named. And it actually takes when you click on manage keys, it actually takes you to where you will actually get your keys and your endpoint. These are very important. We're going to use these when we are going transitioning into Power Apps. Um, from here, we come to the Power Apps portal. You click on Create, and you click, of course, you're going to use it in a blank Canvas app. You're going to use a tablet if you want. When you're here, next thing you do, for you to power your um, your application with the, uh, what's it called, with the Power for the Azure Cognitive Services, you're going to make a call to the API endpoint. You're going to do that how? You're going to click on, uh, what's it called, the, the data tab here. It's actually going to open up and it's going to, you're going to, it's going to show you a place where you can actually just click on add data, which is what you do traditionally to bring data into your Power Apps. But in this case, you're going to actually go to your data sources and, and type computer vision. It will actually complete, and you can see the computer vision API over there. All you need to do after this is click on it, then it will bring you to this window where you can actually put your account key and site URL. This is where the keys we got in come in place. We just paste it here and we paste the chef or the um the endpoint URL here. Then we click on connect. It does that and voila, guys. Uh for those that are actually conversing with the power platform, you can simply just go add a component. Then write a few, few lines of code and you are building a business solution that has the ability to hear, to speak, to translate, to analyze, to understand. Be it turning text into digital text. Guys, this is just awesome. I really want you guys to jump on this. I am learning. I would like to learn with you as well. You can connect with me um, on my social media handles and we can actually, these are the links we are going to be using you if you want to learn. Um, you have the one for Azure Data Fundamentals, Azure Data, um, Azure Fundamentals, Azure AI Fundamentals, and most importantly, a series of free certifications, including the Microsoft Fundamentals Power Platform exam for students. Guys, I really like you all to jump on this. Um, I remain myself, um, Pancho Kapoda, and thank you very much. Yeah, thank you so much, Panjak, for that amazing introduction to the Azure Cognitive Services and the Power Platform. Maybe a couple questions for you because we have thank time. You. And the first one is like, what, like, so you showed us some computer vision. Have you experimented or explored with any other like cognitive services in the Power Platform? Yes, you have, or you also have object detection, you have um, language to speech. There are a lot of things, yeah, but I actually love computer vision because I really want to work with something that can actually see, and uh, that's it. Uh, but I've experimented with others too, yeah. Amazing, and even, I know computer vision is actually one of my favorite applications of AI as well. Have you, yeah. are there any specific use cases for computer vision, image detection, or object detection that you've explored? Yeah, I'm actually at the learning stage right now, uh, but I built an app that can actually take inventory. So this is how it works. Um, you have someone bring in inventory for his grocery store, as you guys call it, sorry, call it supermarket over here. Uh, then you actually, so the manager or the person that is in charge of taking the inventory will actually have a database where they, all they need to do is use their phone, which is the power app they've built. They just snap the, um, the, stock that just comes in then it actually automatically detects okay this is an apple this is a crate these are just crates of eggs and it just sends it to the database so that the people that the person that's at the help desk can actually see okay these are the things we have in store i mean it's a very big supermarket it's very tough sometimes to know what's available and what's not and you actually get updated constantly to tell you okay these things are out of stock and stuff so i hope i really answered your question Oh, yes, yeah, you definitely answered it. Thank you so much, Panchak, and thank you so much for coming on our stream today. We will let you go. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and we're going to go to a short break before introducing our iShare donation platform.